Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. A very warm welcome to all. I, Maitri Dhingra, am a student at International Institute of Hotel Management, Delhi. I am here with my colleague, Vivian Suri. Good afternoon. And we are live from the studios of International Institute of Hotel Management, Delhi. Today, we are here for the news on the hospitality industry. Let's start from Rajasthan. Indian Hotels Company Limited announced the signing of its first hotel under the Taj brand in Ranthambore, Rajasthan. The currently operational hotel will be rebranded as Taj post upgradation. This hotel is a management contract with Footprints Ranthambore. The, comment, the commenting on the signing, Mr. Puneet Chatwal, Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer, IHCL, said that IHCL has always endeavored to establish and position unique destinations on the global travel map. He also said that Ranthambore National Park is a key tiger reserve in Rajasthan, known for its natural beauty. Mr. Chatwal also mentioned that introducing the Taj brand in Ranthambore will fur further elevate the tourism potential of that destination. Over to you, ma'am. Moving towards Maharashtra, the Hotel Association India HAI has welcomed the decision of the Maharashtra government and its Department of Tourism DOT for launching the audit and inspection process of hotels. They have applied for industry status benefits in the state. The DOT appointed committee has started the inspection process from the city of Pune from August 1st. This will allow hotels to avail benefits towards electricity tariffs property tax, refinancing of existing debts. They may get hassle-free loans at subsidized interest rates. HAI has stated that a simplified approval process for hotel projects and operations will be a forward step in furtherance of the government's initiative of making tourism and hospitality a national priority. Next, we have a news from Madhya Pradesh. Madhya Pradesh Tourism Department is pushing for homestays in selected villages in a bid to attract international tourists to rural areas and state of the state. The scheme has been mooted under the Rural Tourism Project of the Madhya Pradesh Tourism Board. In the first phase of the project, tourism activities will be conducted in about 100 villages to make the tourist experience the lifestyle and surroundings of the villages. Now, some positive news on the hospitality sector. The Indian hotel market is on a rapid recovery course, with the hospitality sector across key markets showing growth on all major performance indicators month over month. The monthly performance overview report of Indian hotels for the month of June 2022 by HVS Analog shows that the Indian hospitality sector is on a steady growth trajectory in terms of all performance. Indicators like occupancy, average daily revenue and revenue per available room month over month. Now, some exciting news from IIHM itself. The students of International Institute of Hotel Management celebrated International Beer Day, that is, the first Friday of August. Beer, day, beer is a popular drink in many countries all over the world. Over 200 cities across the globe celebrated this day. On 5th August, our students at Hyderabad campus learn the process of brewing beer in college, keeping in mind the necessary ingredients required, the appropriate temperatures needed for producing different styles of ales and lagers. And here in the capital of India, Delhi, our students learn the art of making beer cocktails like Cosmo Sh Shandy, Spike Michelada and Beer Mew. That's all from the Delhi studios. Please tune in tomorrow for the feeds from the Pune campus. Have, Have a great day ahead.